The next three items all relate to referrals from the, uh, the Audit and Risk Committee. Uh, the, the first one relates to the Enterprise Risk Update. Um, we have officers available to talk to this, Anne Brown, uh, Gemma Wensor and Megan Tyler. Um, but I, I'm going to ask um, Daniel Newman uh, to move it. Do I have a seconder? It's Bill will second that, sir. Uh, Bill Cashmore to second it. Uh, and I'll ask uh, Councillor Daniel Newman to introduce it. Daniel. Oh, thank you, Your Worship. The, uh, this is a report referred uh, from the Audit and Risk Committee, the Enterprise Risk Update. Um, and I want to um, commend the officers um, on the call for their work in uh, preparing the report and also being available to, uh, to speak to the matter. Um, the, the Audit and Risk Committee, it's a fascinating committee and this is an important piece of work that the Audit and Risk uh, considers um, on a regular basis. Um, uh, risk is, is a very uh, big and complex piece of work in the organisation. I note that uh, uh, the four remaining top risks uh, were assessed in the quarter asset deterioration, climate change response, strategic relationships and enterprise IT security failure, including cyber risk. Uh, and I also note the uh, establishment, um, the governance group's establishment to oversee the council's response to climate related finance risks financial risks under the task force on climate related financial disclosures framework um, so I will um, I'm happy to um, move this particular report and um, uh, note the availability of officers to answer colleagues questions thank you very much councillor Newman um, so we have questions first of all uh, councillor Angela Dalton Thank you, Your Worship. Uh, just two questions around the risk, risk register, and one was in the Māori Impact Statement, and I was just wondering if IMSB and Namatarai are involved in developing the process and control improvement plans to mitigate the risk of not achieving the Māori outcomes. I think there is a group that is going to be working on it. I wondered if they're part of it. That's my first question. Thank you for your question, um, Councillor Dalton. Uh, this is uh, Anne Brown, and yes, they are very much part of the uh, discussion uh, that we have uh, to uh, get to the top risk uh, rating and all the controls and the impacts, yes. Wonderful, thank you. My second question was around the decision-making risk, and I see that it's um, come up in the risk register that this covers governance and operational decisions. I'm wondering on the political side of things, is there going to be political input into developing the mitigations to address the control gaps around the governance decision making, perhaps around roles and responsibilities of regional governance? Yes, no, thank you. That's a great question. And um, that is something that is also considered as part of this, um, this risk. Um, there is a political component there and therefore it will be uh, part of the ongoing process. Yeah. Thank you, Anne. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I don't have any further questions in the sidebar, but I'll just pause for a moment to see if anybody has any further questions. Are there any comments? If not, I will put the motion that we receive the Enterprise Risk Update. All those in favour Please say aye. 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 No, uh, I declare that carried.